Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, we're going to create our first Python program and we're going to be able to run it and see how everything works. The first thing I want to do is open up PyCharm. So PyCharm was the IDE, the integrated development environment that we downloaded in the last tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for it on my computer and I can just open it up. And when we first open up PyCharm, we should basically just get a window prompting us to create a project. So you can see that down here. Actually, the first thing I want to do though is come over here to configure and I'm just going to click on preferences and I actually want to change the appearance. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a theme. So I just went over here to appearance and behavior appearance and I'm going to change the theme to Darkula just because I think it's a little bit easier to use and look at, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And so down here, I'm just going to click create new project and it's going to give us this little window right here so I can just name my project and I'm just going to name this draft. And then there's this other option down here where it says interpreter. Now, what we want to select is Python version three. So if I click down here, you'll notice that there's a couple different options. So I'm on a Mac computer and by default, Mac has Python version two installed on it. If you're on a Windows machine, I'm not sure if it does, but in this tutorial, we're going to be using Python three. So you want to make sure that you have Python three selected as the interpreter. Otherwise, uh, you might not be able to fully follow along with what we're doing in this video. So now I'm just going to come down here and click create. And this is going to go ahead and create our project for us. All right. So now we have our Python project up and running. And I want to show you guys how we can create our first Python program. So over here in this draft folder, and this is just that project that we created, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say new, and I'm going to come down and click Python file. So we want to create a new Python file. This will be our first Python program and I can just give this a name. So why don't we just call this app and I'm just going to click. Okay. All right. So now we have our first Python file open and we can just start typing in some Python. So I want to show you guys just a very basic Python program. And this is just going to be a hello world program. So we're just going to print something out onto the screen. So what I, what I want to do is I want to type out P R I N T print and I want to type in open and close parentheses. Now inside of this parentheses, we can make some quotation marks and inside of the quotation marks, I'm just going to type out hello world. So this is like a very basic Python program. And what this is going to do is it's, it's just going to print out hello world onto the screen. And so now what I can do is I can actually run this file and we're actually getting a little error here. It wants us to create a new line at the end of the file. And so now in order to run our Python program, I'm just going to come up here to the top and I'm just going to click run and we'll click this run button right here. And now we'll see what happens. So it's asking me what I want to run. I can just click app. And down here at the bottom, you'll notice that we have this text that just got printed out. Hello world. And so whatever I print or whatever I put inside of this print statement is going to get printed out down below in the console. So as long as you're getting that print statement to work, then you've actually written your first Python program. And as we go through forward in the course, we're going to be writing all sorts of awesome Python programs and we're going to be doing all sorts of cool stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.